In this video, we want to give you a quick demonstration on how PathNow can help you analyze and improve your procure pay processes in just a few clicks. Before we dive into the demo of the PathNow P2P solution, we want to explain how to get the raw data from your ERP system into PathNow in Power BI. For this purpose, let's imagine you have an SAP system and want to do process mining with PathNow. First, we need to take the necessary SAP tables, then transform them into a suitable format and finally load the extracted information into Power BI. Let's start with the first step, extracting the raw data from SAP to a SQL Server. With PathNow, this can be done seamlessly with our tool of choice, the DAB Exporter. The DAB Exporter is an SAP certified extraction tool. It supports both SAP R3 and SAP HANA. It was proven countless times how easy it is to extract the necessary SAP tables. The DAB Exporter has many benefits, including scheduling, parallel downloads, and more key highlights. Further information can be found on the official DAB Europe homepage. Of course, only SAP tables which are necessary for the P2P process should be extracted. That's why we provide you with the must-have knowledge and tools to understand which SAP tables are important for P2P and which ones can be ignored. We even have a ready-to-go DAB exporter package. That allows a very easy and almost automatic extraction of your SAP data. Once the SAP tables are extracted, we provide a pre-built mature data model specific for the procure-to-pay process. It takes the extracted SAP tables and turns them into a format that can be used in process mining. This PuffNow data model is the result of the experience from over 300 SAP process mining projects. It is optimized for process mining and allows you to start your analysis right away. At the same time, it is an open data model, which means it can be customized or extended if need be. We constantly improve our transformation to increase the speed and make use of new software updates. A lot of times, you don't want to just look at past data, but integrate process mining in your existing infrastructure to monitor your process regularly. Luckily, our transformation can also be scheduled and set to run in specific time intervals. This way, the data in your PathNow reports are always up to date and findings can be turned into immediate actions. With all this in mind, let's look into the PathNow P2P report to analyze and improve a P2P process. Once the data has been extracted from SAP and transformed into a SQL Server, the final PathNow table from the PathNow data model can be then imported into Power BI. In Power BI, we have ready-to-go PathNow custom visuals and custom pages to start a P2P analysis. Usually, the first starting point of every analysis is the discovery page, where you can see the basic process. Here we see a typical P2P process, starting with the purchase requisition, followed by create purchase order. Then in this case, there are no approval steps. Sometimes if I order something that has a certain value, a manager might have to approve it. But here, we don't have an approval. After the purchase order comes post good receipt, followed by record invoice receipt and post purchase invoice and in the end, pay purchase invoice. Right now you can only see the most frequent variant. With a slider, I'm able to add more variants. Now I can see that there are actually lots of exceptions to the basic PDP process. For example, a purchase order was created and something was ordered. I also already received an invoice. However, I didn't even get my goods yet. So I got an invoice before I got my goods. Another example is here. Sometimes the purchase order was created, but I'm still waiting for my goods. These are cases which probably are not finished yet. For now, let's stick with the most frequent variant. We can filter based on variants. If we click on this case overview button, we get a table overview of the actual case IDs. Then we can see that case number one has a comparatively high average lead time with 128 days. So let's click on case ID number one and the graph filters accordingly. In case ID number one, we don't have a purchase requisition. Let's check why this case took a bit longer on average than the others. Indicated by the red box, we can easily detect that it takes a very long time between post goods receipt and record invoice receipt. This means we did get our ordered goods, but it took a long time until the invoice was recorded. Because this is an SAP data set we're looking at, it's important to understand the connection between the SAP data and the cases. PathNow has a specific visual for this, the document flow. Here you can see the underlying IDs for orders, deliveries, invoices, and payments for the two selected cases, and we can see how they're connected to each other. Paying on time is a very important element to improve in a P2P process. Some vendors give discounts if you pay in a certain time frame. Of course, that is something we want to achieve because it saves us a lot of money. 
In this example, we can see that we had a discount loss of about 640,000 euros because we did not pay on time. So we obviously missed out. Now let's check what happens if we pay the invoices that were one to seven days too late on time. Now we're missing out on about 590,000 euros. That's already a bit of an improvement, but there's still a lot of potential to get even more discounts. We can check what happens if I pay all the invoices that were seven to 60 days late on time. We can see that we would still lose about 350,000 euros, but it's a huge improvement to before. We'd have 300,000 euros more. That's additional money we could have saved if we just paid on time. In summary, we see how important paying on time and making use of discounts is. Pafdao is trying to answer the question, how can I manage to pay these invoices on time? The question we should ask now is, why do I have cases where I'm paying too late? Let's view the discount losses page for that. Here we can see how our invoices were paid too late. Some were just paid one day too late, some up to seven. But we also have cases with more than 60 days or even 120 days of late payment. Time to improve this and get the most possible discounts. As said, we have about 640,000 euros of discount that we're not using. A perfect starting point is to look at the top 10 vendors by discount losses. If we click on the first vendor, we see with just this one, we're missing out on 160,000 euros. That's almost a quarter of the complete discount loss. But why? What went wrong with this particular vendor? Let's use the root cause analyzer. The root cause analyzer tells us that five of the 61 total invoices have the invoice payment term PO53. That's pretty interesting because the payment term PO53 only occurs for this particular vendor. If I click on this bubble, we're only looking at the five invoices where the payment term occurred. We still have the discount loss of about 160,000 euros. That means every time we have the invoice payment term PO53, which occurs five times in the whole data set, we have the discount loss of 160,000 euros. This is obviously something we have to check out. Basically, this invoice term seems to be something we can't really deal with. So the next time we probably won't negotiate on this payment term and we could save well over 100,000 euros. Another thing we can look at and monitor, even though it's not directly in our hands, is our vendors and how they perform. We buy things from a lot of different vendors, and some of these vendors might be more reliable than others based on different KPIs. One of those KPIs is, do they deliver on the agreed date? Sometimes deliveries are exactly on time, on the day that we agreed on. Sometimes deliveries can be too early, which is usually okay. However, it can cause problems, like if we don't have the needed storage space yet. Usually the worst event is if the deliveries are too late. We planned with the on-time delivery and now we have to somehow deal with the mess up situation. The question is, can I somehow find the vendors which are more or less reliable in this record? What we can do is have a look at the chart down here. Here we can see the average delivery delay in days on the Y axis and the sum of invoices in euros on the X axis. That means that every bubble on this chart represents a vendor. The vendors that are on the right side display we've purchased more expensive goods, whereas the vendors that are more upward on the y-axis delivered too late. Let's look at one specific vendor. This vendor usually delivers 27 days too late on average and has an invoice volume of over 50 million. This can be problematic. Maybe we want to have a look if there's another vendor from which we can purchase the same goods. The new vendor might have a better performance regarding delivery. This is one thing we can do, check if my vendors deliver on time. So that's something we can do regarding vendors. Another thing that might be interesting is to check which of the materials I purchased are delivered too late. On the page materials in the right corner, you see the different material numbers and the average delay for all of them. If we check them, we can see that this material number has an average delay of 30 days. So let's click on it. Now I can check which vendors are related to this specific material number. We only have two purchase orders. One was delivered too late and the other was not yet delivered or there was no agreed delivery date. In the process flow, we can clearly see that the problem in this process is based on the delivery. Every process step we do, from create purchase order, from the invoices EDC, it's all fine. But the big delay, which is indicated in red, 
is the waiting time from purchase order to the goods received. That is the delayed delivery caused by the vendor probably because of this material number. This is another thing that we want to avoid and something we can search for using the PathNow P2P solution. In summary, you can see that with PathNow you can easily analyze and improve your procure-to-pay process in just a few clicks. Of course, there are many more visuals included in PathNow to help you. In this video, you just saw an introduction of a few very helpful visuals for your P2P process. You want to take your analysis to the next level? With PathNow, you can turn your P2P insights to actions by using more than 400 pre-built action connectors within your existing Microsoft Power Platform. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us anytime.